Hola, mi nombre es Carlota. Hello, I'm Charlotte. I'm a Tupperware lady in Mexico, and I call myself the gringa Tupperware lady in Mexico. Just quickly, my story in Tupperware, I started out as a Tupperware consultant and then manager in Orlando, Florida, where Tupperware is headquartered. So today I want to show you one of my very favorite pieces of Tupperware, or actually a collection. They're called the Modular Mates, and I just love them because they make me feel and, and really be organized. And one of the most common uses for the Modular Mates is to store your baking supplies because you don't make cakes and pies every day. So this is called the square two. I keep five pounds of sugar in here. And you may be able to see that through here that this is about half full. It's easy to use the tab on the corner. You just peel back all the way with all four corners and then you can see the contents inside. You can also see through it because there are two see-through windows. So when I put it back on, I start with the corner closest to me, I walk my fingers around, and then pop it into place. Tupperware has improved the strength of Tupperware over its 75 years in business. And if you have a seal that seems to be a bit tight, please just go ahead and put it in a bowl of hot water from the sink, leave it for a bit, dry it off, walk your fingers around and put it on, and kind of forget about it for a few hours. And it'll be just fine after that. You want a tight seal because Tupperware is airtight. Square containers are airtight, round containers are air and liquid tight. So you could even store them on, on their sides. All right, so this is my first one, and I just wanna show you a few other things. I think this is my favorite. I have a lot of these. I'm from the South, and I love Louisiana iced tea, but you can't get it here in Mexico. So what I do is every time I go up North, I put some in my suitcase and bring it back. So I wanna protect it and keep it a long time and this is the square two modular made. You can see how nicely it fits together here as it does in your kitchen, pantry, or cabinet. And inside here are Louisiana tea bags. Next, I want to show you that you can keep other things uh, in a square two. You don't have to have a cereal keeper. I keep my cereal in this and it holds quite a bit. You can look on the bottom of the pieces of Tupperware and see the capacity. So you also can look on, or rather in the catalogs, and I'm happy to send you a catalog at any point. All right, this is a new color, by the way, for a seal in Mexico. It's called Verde, green, a lovely color, negro, black, and this is an old one because I have used modular mates over the years. So here we go, there are my square twos all stacked up. Another favorite piece of mine is a square three. Now, I like to keep five pounds of flour in here, and I use different kinds of flour, maybe you do too. Uh, All-purpose flour, almond flour for keto recipes, uh, bread flour, self-rising flour. So you need more than one of these to keep your flour fresh. Uh, I had a customer years ago that told me that she kept five pounds of sugar fresh for five years. Now, it would never ever last that long at my house, but it gives you the idea that your food is going to be safe and fresh and insect-free in Tupperware. And you can see how these line up nicely. Now here's another one. Uh, because I, I don't like to get down to the very end before I buy new flour. Every time I add to the container, I wash it, I dry it, and I dry it very, very well because you don't want it to be uh, moist inside. And this is a square four. And what I put in here is I put 
back uh, or I put in my five pounds of new flour and then put in whatever remaining flour I have so that I have plenty on hand at any time. Some other favorites of mine are the ovals. And this is a very old one. I keep a pound of brown sugar in here. And you know, sometimes you will find that people tell you, oh, cut up an apple and keep it in your brown sugar or a piece of bread. But if you keep it in Tupperware, it's going to stay nice and soft. And just a hint, unless it says otherwise, if you have a recipe for calling for brown sugar, make sure it's packed down in a Tupperware measuring cup and that will be the right amount for your recipe. All right, so I put the oval two here, and then here is another oval two. You see how nice they all organize and optimize your space. In here, I like to keep gluten-free pasta, uh, and then it's ready for me to cook in the Tupperware pasta maker anytime I'm ready. And then the last one I wanna show you is empty. Well, that's kind of the idea. When you run out of something, keep it in your arrangement so that you can see that you need it when you are making your grocery list and there's no reason it can't stay here empty. So I washed this and what it had in it was crackers. This is a great one. This is an oval three and it holds a pack of Triscuits, Wheat Thins, Breton crackers, those kinds of things. So just letting you know the wonderful convenience and safety for your food of Tupperware. Thank you and next time I'll be doing a video on our freezer containers and I love them. One of the great features you'll see on the top so stay tuned and I'll tell you about that next time. Thank you for watching.